I'm Natalie, um, and my story is called Kitchen Carting. So up in the north in Pennsylvania, where we call things carts, pogies, and Appalachian, in Pennsylvania there exists the most wonderful place on earth, Camp Calvary, where the mountains are more like this than like this. So at Camp Calvary, I had the privilege last summer of working on kitchen staff and a job that entails breaking things and cutting myself on a daily basis was basically my life for a whole summer. So if you're getting the idea that I'm a bit clumsy, it's probably a great place to start the story. So this particular day, we were just doing our usual routine, get breakfast, cut the fruit, and wash all the dishes, and then we serve the meal, and then we clean up, and we cut the stuff for lunch, and then we serve lunch, and then we clean up, and then we get ready for dinner, and then we serve dinner, and then we clean up dinner. So basically, it was just a typical day, but on this particular day, the two girls that I worked with, Stacy and Molly, decided that we were going to go on a little adventure after our day. So finally, at 8 o'clock that night, we were finally finished. We ran out of the kitchen, threw our aprons off, and decided that it was the perfect time to take out the camp golf carts. We got permission, and so we jumped in the cart and went off for a ride. Now, camp property is pretty big. So on this side, you have the big hill that goes up into the woods, and then the pond is over there, and you have the pool and the cabins. So we just went off exploring, and we found a path that went into the woods. So we're like, let's go down this path and see where it goes. So we start going, and we're bumping along, trying to avoid branches and getting hit by the occasional vine in the face. And as we're going, we're having a blast, and it's a great time, and so we're switching drivers on and off, and uh, Molly's in the back, and we're just bumping around. And we start getting further into the woods, and it starts getting a little bit darker. And we're still going, we're just going in the woods, and it's getting a little bit darker, and we're realizing that none of us actually know where we're going. So we switched drivers and decided that maybe this would be a good time to turn around. But then, as we're going, the cart starts going a little slower. And we're all kind of looking at each other, like, why is the cart slowing down? And step on the gas, and the cart doesn't go any faster. And then we stopped. So we turned the cart off, and we all look at each other. And we each reach into our pockets for our responsible adult selves having cell phones. And None of us had brought our phone with us. <laughs> so we look at the sky, and it's getting darker. And we're just in the woods with no cell phones and a cart that's dead. And we have no idea where we are. So trying not to panic, we're just kind of you know, looking at each other, listening to the sounds in the woods, listening to the crickets, listening to noises that we say is the wind, and just hoping that maybe if we give the cart a few minutes, it's old. Maybe it'll turn on. So we're just sitting there, waiting. Hopefully we didn't run out of gas. Hoping that it's just the engine, you know, just giving us a little trouble. So after about 10 minutes of watching the sun go down and listening to the noises in the woods, we decide that we're going to try and turn the cart on again. So I sit in the driver's seat, and I turn the key, and nothing happens. So we wait a couple seconds, and then we turn the key, and we hear but it doesn't quite turn on. So we're like, okay, it's almost there. If we maybe just like try one more time and then it'll turn on. So I gave it a few more seconds, looked at each other, sent up a couple prayers and turned the key again and it turned on. We were off again, stepping on the gas as fast as we could, just trying to finish the path. So finally, as it just got dark, we came out into the cornfield on the side of the kitchen and we were so excited to finally be out of the woods, out of the danger. So we decided, you know, let's just keep driving around for a little. We, we forgot <laughs> everything that had just happened and we just decided to drive around camp. Well, by this point, all the campers were playing their night game and so the counselors were all running around trying to tag the kids. So we decided to help out a little by giving the counselors lifts and dropping them off at the different groups of kids and we were just having a great time. So then we, the campers, finished their game and they went inside and so we just kept driving around and so we decided let's drive up the big hill. So we drive up the big hill where there's a spot carved out in the woods for hammocks and enos and so we parked the 
the car and we all get outside to take a little break and so we lay in the hammocks for a while and we were there for quite some time and it had gotten pretty dark by that point and so as we were coming out of the woods two of our friends jumped out and scared us and we all laughed and it was just a great time and so we all jumped back in the car and decided it's probably time to take it in for the night and so we get in the cart and I turn it on and it, it turns on just fine and we start to press the gas to go back down the hill but the way we were parked we had our back end towards the hill so when we put it in forwards the car starts rolling down but it doesn't roll down the hill this way it rolls down the hill this way toward the lovely pond that is over here <laughs> So we slam on the gas, or the, not the gas, that would be bad. We slam on the brake, and it stops for a couple seconds, but then it starts rolling backwards again. And so we're all talking about what we should do, if we should jump out and just let the cart go, or if we should jump out and try to push it, or if we should just try and floor it forward. And um, thankfully, just as it starts to roll down towards the water slide and into the pond, a couple of the guy staffers came sprinting across the yard, and we could see them coming, and we're just hoping that they'll get there fast enough <laughs> to stop this cart. So finally, they jump in, they jump behind the cart, and they just start pushing and pushing and pushing. And it takes a little while, because all three of us are still in the cart. We didn't jump out. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so finally, they get it, and they turn us around, and instead of rolling backwards, we're now rolling forwards down the hill on our merry way, so finally, we get to the garage, completely satisfied that our adventures with this golf cart need to end. So we park the cart, turn it off, and we leave, and we go in for the night, and just thankful that we had survived this many adventures of kitchen carting.